Welcome back. You are watching today. Well, time is one of the most precious assets we have. But just how much time does it cost to keep on top of all those monthly expenses? What a creative intro, says. Mm, uh, today, I money expert Effie Zahos is here to break it all down for us. Effie, good morning to you. Let's good start morning. with mortgage repayments. Yeah. yeah, and that's a good point you make because I do value things by time and it helps me stop splurging. But, you know, that's easy to do with a pair of shoes. You can value it. But when it comes to your household bills, you've got really not much choice. Mm. So what I had a look at is what is the average mortgage in each state and territory? What's the average income there? And how many days would it take the average income earner to actually pay off their mortgage. This is quite shocking. Now, I do need to say here, so for New South Wales, basically that shows you'd need 21 days on the average salary to pay the average mortgage. The average mortgage is about 580,000, repayments about 3,800. Obviously, that's one person. It just goes to show that it's near impossible to service yeah. a loan on one income. Yeah. But it is a, it's, it's an eye-opener, isn't it? 12 rate hikes, and this is the, the pressure we're under with wage growth. Still, it's good, but it's not beating inflation. Yeah. And then you've got to add grocery shops on top of that too. <laughs> Have a look at groceries and this is a really good example of what is your personal inflation rate and I often talk about this that you know your pain will be different to other people's pain and so on. You can see a CEO would only take actually six hours to earn the income required to pay for a monthly shop <laughs> as opposed to say a, a nurse would be 25 hours wow. and we know that food inflation has been a lot higher than inflation in general so that's a real big pressure point for households. And Energy bills? Okay, so energy bills, we already know that in some states, South East Queensland, New South Wales, Vic, South Australia, they've gone up about 25%. Mm. So this is the number of days, again, based on an average salary, to pay your quarterly bill. Or quarterly bill is about 450000 So 450000 that'd be amazing. Mm. About $450. Um, so again, some states are, are doing better than others. But amidst all of that, you reckon there are still ways people can save? Look, absolutely. The easiest one with refinancing for your home loan, the cheapest in the market is still quite good, 5.39. That's got a nice LVR. What, what I mean by that is you don't need a lot of equity to jump into it. When you consider the average mortgage now, it's almost hitting 7%. There are some big savings there. Pay rise, I had a look at Seek's job numbers. Year on year, they've gone up great. But last month, it's been tight. We know people are already starting to stop to spend. You have people stop spending, you have businesses doing it tough, it's going to contract. So wage growth is going to contract and unfortunately it's still way behind inflation. And with food, you know what I actually do now? I put whatever ingredients I have in my fridge into yeah. chat GWT and that gives my menu for the night. We heard about that. I don't that. follow it. You'll though. have to do Crazy. that for us at home. I did. Yeah. I had a potato, onion, milk and eggs and it was this amazing uh, potato fritter. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Actually. Because food wastage is a big thing. It is a big thing. <laughs> I'm here for it. Yeah, sounds delicious. Like hey there today fans, Sarah and... What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?